Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future. And then we'll take a look at your person's energy and your energy, or whoever's on your mind, and see what's going on there. So if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I hope you'll stay. I am available for personal readings if you'd like one of those. The information is in the description box below or in the About section of my channel. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys for the next 10 days. Okay, so in the recent past... We have the Seven of Wands in reverse with the King of Pentacles in reverse and then the Seven of Swords. You could be having questions about somebody who um, you were very vulnerable to. Um, maybe there was questions about whether this person was really stable. Um, you could have also been questioning whether this person was telling you the truth. Uh, there's the thought that I'd just rather know what I need to know and let it go. Whatever this is, it's not a very stable energy. In the current energy, we have the Page of Cups with the Four of Swords and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So the Page of Cups is in reverse. You could be dealing with somebody or just now realizing in the current energy, <clears throat> excuse me, that the more you think through what had happened in the past, you'll realize that maybe you're dealing with somebody who's a little bit emotionally immature and that doesn't have the ability, again, to be truthful or honest. At least they don't move with that kind of energy. So they could be holding back. Um, you may find that this person has a tendency to like cut off communication. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got this little tickle in my throat. And it's as if it's like no matter how much you try to work things out or to get clear about things, it, they just can't be clear. It's like they don't understand themselves. In the near future, we have the Three of Swords in reverse, Three of Cups in reverse, and the Queen of Swords. So you've got the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords all right here in this lower row. And I don't generally read sideways depending on the reading. Sometimes I will, but the important part is it's like you can't speak your truth either. Almost as if this person doesn't allow you to say the things that you feel and think, or they deny everything that you bring up to them. And I think in the near future, you just realize that it's easier to step away and heal from this situation. If you feel like you've been betrayed or there's some third party situation going on with three of swords in reverse and the three of cups, it doesn't seem to be bringing joy. So maybe you realized, you know, it isn't worth my energy, my time the mental space, even though that's primarily what's going on here because everything else except the Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords are in reverse. So it's a lot of this person can be emotionally immature. They don't always tell the truth. Even, you know, no matter how hard I try, things just don't seem to be working out. And then we have, ironically, the Sun card. So the primary focus of the overall reading is what's going to bring you the most happiness. Where do you feel the most stable? Is it within? Is it just focusing on you and your main little circle of life? What brings you the most joy? Because obviously she likes to create some kind of financial stability. Um, joy is important for all of us. But in this case, it's like it makes you so much happier when you don't spin your brain out of control thinking about all the reasons why this person is the way that they are. Okay, yeah. And this is the other thing about it. It seems like whatever this energy is, if it's something you've already completed, it creates some kind of a sense like, am I not good enough? Like, what is the reason behind this? So there's a lot of self-worth issues that pop up with this situation. And it's like spirit says, the way to get back to yourself and finding that kind of peace of mind is to focus on the things around you that are really joyful, that like bring that feeling of I could just go on if these were the sensations that I always got to feel. The sun, getting out in the sun might be important if you can, if you're in a place where 
the weather's warm enough, you may just need like one of those trips where you can either go with your guy friends or your girlfriends or whatever and figure that out, right? Just get a little space away and get some sunshine, vitamin D. There's nothing wrong with it. All right, so I'm going to put these down and let's clarify. We've got the Seven of Wands with the King of Pentacles in reverse. This to me was your energy of being very vulnerable and hoping for someone to show up. And I just don't think that they're stable in their own surroundings. So let's see. Yeah, it's, and it creates kind of a, a feeling of, you know, even though there may be passion here, it doesn't feel healthy. It feels toxic. And I know that that's a common word to use for that card, but that's what it feels like. The Page of Pentacles. So this, I swear this is exactly what I'm hearing. It's like they come forward as a page and they offer something to you, but it's not really the truth. It doesn't ever seem like it's that stable. It's like it's always starting at this point, but then it goes back to the Seven of Swords again from the Page of Pentacles because... Is it sincere? Is what's coming towards you really the offer that you want? The Page of Cups with the Four of Swords, the Three of Wands, it's like it's never coming to you. You keep waiting for something to happen. And that's what I think you're thinking about. Is that I've been waiting for a long time for this to happen or this person to get themselves together and it just doesn't seem like it's coming to fruition. And then we have the Eight of Wands. That's a lot of quick moving energy. So could there be some communication at some point? Maybe, but I just feel like that's you wanting to move forward very quickly and focus on other things in your life that drive you, that create that spark that you always have, your fiery energy, because it is fiery energy. So it's like, I just want to focus on that. I don't even want to stay here in this space because I can't wait for this to come around any longer. Now, the Three of Swords in reverse with the Three of Cups in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, because you're dealing with somebody who is emotionally shut down. So if you're dealing with this person now and you're already starting to pick up on this energy with them, you're going to find out in the near future that they are unavailable completely. And the focus is on healing your heart, your energy space, your mental space, <clears throat> so you can move beyond this if it's not bringing you joy. The Three of Cups with the Queen of Swords in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. There may be some moments when you're not sure whether you can trust your intuition or not. And I think this person brings that energy to you. It's like they constantly make you second guess yourself. And that could be emotional manipulation with the King of Cups in reverse. So just be aware of that. If you don't ever feel like you can speak your mind and this person kind of shuts you down because they're not emotionally open, it could definitely create a lot of doubts for you. All right. <clears throat> you may be thinking that there's something, like they may deny the emotions that you're having. They never validate you. And that's what creates this feeling of, you know, how how is this not coming together? There's something confusing about the emotions. And I do think you at times question yourself. So let's. this has been very relationship focused, but I'm going to go ahead and get into the person on your mind because this isn't as much about work situations. Excuse me. Over the next 10 days, it seems like this is going to be what you're focused on is dealing with this energy. Even if this person is somebody from a more distant past, it's coming up. The energy of it is popping up for you to... Recognize that you didn't miss an opportunity. If there's a new love opportunity that's coming to you, um, you may be a little bit scared to take a chance with it because there's still some healing that needs to be done. But I don't think you're going to stay stuck in this energy for very long because something seems like it wants to pull you out of it. <clears throat> yeah, the Seven of Swords is what's landing on the top. So I'd say be very cautious with this, it's almost like you figure it out and you just cut and run because it's worth getting out of faster than staying in this and or repeating a pattern that seems to be repeating. All right. <clears throat> Can't stop clearing my throat. 
this is going to be specifically about your person. It could vary a little bit, but usually it ties in with the main reading. So let's see what your person's energy. Yeah, we've got the Three of Pentacles. This is just somebody who doesn't um, work well with others a lot of times. And it does feel like third-party energy. And there's that Seven of Swords again. If you have a question about whether this person is lying because their energy is so in and out, the temperance is like, in this case, I'm going to say they go back and forth. It's like they split themselves between possibly you and someone else, or they just don't have solid emotions. Whatever it is, they're 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 not being honest. They're going, they, their energy constantly feels like it's being pulled in and out. And it could be that they go back to past situations. Let's see what your energy is. The Knight of Swords, the Hangman, yeah, you're kind of stuck there. It's like you don't know whether to communicate, but I feel like what you're going to do is cut communication off completely if you haven't already. You may feel like it isn't worth talking about anymore. To have the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords together that way, it's like both of your energies are saying, no, I'm not going to move forward with this. I don't want to communicate anymore. If you can't figure this out or tell me the truth, then... I'd rather be over here and figure my stuff out with the hangman, you know, become enlightened. You've been enlightened in this, right? As you take a, a pause, there's all those light bulbs going off with the Ace of Cups because it doesn't seem to be going anywhere with somebody from the past. And the judgment, it's like spirits coming in and saying, you've been praying for the answer, but you have to listen. You have to hear what they're trying to say. It's like they're being as loud and clear, the Red Cross symbol is saying that they've been trying to help heal you because that's what the Red Cross does, right? It's about healing. It's about finding um, a way beyond a situation. And if you're looking for the answers and they're giving them to you, they want you to really pay attention and be open to what they're saying. Okay. Let's see what we've got with the romance angels and then we'll see if this person's going to take any more actions or what else Spirit wants you to know. This is for Aries. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this is more about focusing on you. It is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. But this will have to be cleared up prior to doing that. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And then worth waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. This came up for one of the other signs too, and I'm going to say this. It isn't worth waiting for someone who doesn't show up for you. If you have any question around this, and both times the Seven of Swords has shown up, what's worth waiting for is the right person. Someone who's really going to be invested, that is going to make you feel safe in love. And then we have release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. So there you go. That's what Spirit's trying to say is as hard as it can be and as matter of fact as I may sound, I understand completely how difficult it is to release someone that you love. <clears throat> but in this case, if you know, if you're aware and you feel like you're questioning yourself about how you feel because this person confuses you or is emotionally manipulative or immature, it can make it difficult because you get mixed signals. All right, so the Ace of Swords, this person's never going to bring any kind of clarity to you, the Queen of Pentacles. It's like they sense that you're okay without them type of feeling, like, oh, this person will be okay. And then we have the Page of Wands. So they don't ever really get started. It's almost like they play games. Again, it's an emotional and a, a passion type of manipulation. Now, your energy is the Ten of Wands in reverse with the Hierophant. This is saying you know better and that this is just going to create stress if you allow it. If you don't, you can release it and it's going to be a lot less stressful and then you work through it, which again takes time. It's not easy, but the Hierophant saying that there's something bigger coming for you that Spirit's trying to show you and I think you have faith. The world, the cycle isn't ended yet, but it's going to. And then we have the hangman in reverse. So you went from having it in the upright to the reverse, which tells me you're going to come out of a place of feeling stuck and have faith that this cycle is going to end and that you're not going to be stressed anymore. I think for you, what they're trying to say is that communication being cut off is the only way to go. All right, let's see what messages or advice the lover's oracle has for you. 
It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. This, listen, if you've given them enough space and it still doesn't feel right, then you know that the next decision is going to have to be about you. Friendship, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. This could be for what you experience moving forward, knowing that it's so important to have that as well. And some of you may just realize that you can be friends, but nothing more. And then we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. If that's what you've been waiting on because you need to clear this energy, that spirit trying to give you hope that something good is coming. And then we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen love, conquers, and transforms all things. That to me is coming after the soulmate in spirit. So what's coming towards you is going to transform you in a different way. It's not going to be this deceitful person because this had to wake you up to recognizing red flags and how, you know, somebody can be when they're being manipulative and all of those awful things that we have to experience to learn the painful lessons. All right. Well, let's get a couple of cards from the wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. This is for Aries. What advice do you have for Aries, please? All right. So we have five, no place like home. There's something about a desire to either shift homes, leave a space you're in, um, feeling safe at home. But fives are usually about change. So there could be that I have a desire to shift my home situation, and that's going to create a different kind of peace in my life. Um, you could be around the age of 50, or there's something about the 5th of the month, or May could be the time when you decide that you want to make that shift. We have soulmates. This is what I feel like you desire, and that's what's coming towards you. This is also a 5. So there are big changes in your relationship situations that are coming to you, and it means to me that you're going to find the partner that you desire to spend the rest of your time with. Even if you're at the age of 50, and that's not gonna be for all of you, it doesn't matter what age you are, it feels like what's coming next for you if you are looking for somebody new outside of a difficult situation that has either come to an end or is, that the next one's gonna be that life partner, that ride or die. And then we have, yeah, happy, happy. So this coming forward is gonna be such, what's coming to you, in the future is such a blessing and such a happy relationship. It's hard to see when you're experiencing the pain of something that you have just gone through or went through in the past, that something could be so different, but that's what they're trying to tell you is what you're about to experience is so different than what you have before. The eight again to me is perfect with the soulmates. That were, this is a 26, you could be 26 or born on the 26th. It's reduced to an eight, which is eternity. And I think that's what we're all really looking for is that eternal connection that can last for a long period of time. And then we have breathe. So if you can take some time out, work through this, this reduces to an 11, which is very much soulmate energy. You could have been dealing with someone who was what we call a twin flame, a very challenging, difficult, triggering relationship. And Spirit's just asking you to take that time for yourself to breathe. And I just heard to manifest the things that you really want to experience next. And then we have Thinker. So it could have you in your head quite a bit. And I'm sure a part of you wants to just work through this. Like, I just want to get over it. I don't want to deal with it. Let's get to the good stuff. Unfinished Symphony is like not wanting to repeat the same cycles. Like it's the same thing just keeps happening. This is no longer going to be with this 10. Now ages are coming up. So we have 50, 29, 44, 30, or being born on the 10th of the month. And then something could be more seriously coming about for you in October. And then here and now is another five. So fives are going to be very significant. We need to work a little bit more on the feeling feelings or and or wounds around abandonment. So if you realize that that's something that comes up with you in your relationships, 
you'll recognize that that's something that you carry with you and you want to make sure that you work on healing that so that you don't have fear of that in your next relationship. Okay, my loves, thank you so much. Those were your messages. Thank you for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. I wish you the best. I really do. I hope you have an amazing 10 days and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.